I don't have time. I have a lot of work lately. I can't restrict myself because life is too short. I can't stop smoking because I have a bad exam in a few days, come on. Probably you may have heard this many times or, or even said that. Now I have a question for you. Was it a fact or was it an excuse? Guys, excuses coming up. Every week we spill out useful tips, tricks and hacks about how you can live a healthy lifestyle and live the life you always wanted to. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and if you're really interested, click that bell icon so that you can remain up to date of this journey. Also guys, we are on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So if you are interested in healthy recipes, inspirational and motivational posts, please give us a follow. follow. In this video, we are covering seven the most common excuses preventing you from being healthy. And what we actually want to do to acknowledge them, recognize them and maybe say no to a few of them next time. Are you ready? Before we get to the actual excuses, let's start with understanding why we're so vulnerable to these excuses on a daily basis. Everything from fast delivery orders to the quick and immediate way that you want to tone your body is focused on quick and timely results. What does marketing companies and techniques do? They exploit this and get you attracted to all sorts of rubbish. And that could be from the state of the art fat burning pills to 20 minute uh, fast food delivery all of which have a negative impact on your health. We are so programmed to chase short-term comfort that we forget about the long-term benefits and we actually postpone the effort to get the long-lasting benefits. This is why we sign up for a gym as a new year resolution and we give up just after a few times being there. It happened to us a lot of yeah. times on numerous occasions and probably it will happen in the future as well. But actually, what is the aim of this video to show you that the clue is to recognize the excuses and actually deal with them, manage them properly. So let's get into the excuses. Good food is expensive. Well, I think we think it's just a matter of priorities, whether it's the new makeup brush or whether it's the new shirt that you want to buy or whether it's, a, it's the drink that you want to have with your friends. Well, could you alternatively use the same money to buy something healthy? We're not oblivious to the fact that organic and sustainable food is actually very expensive. But what we're trying to get you to challenge is eating whole foods, which are not processed frozen pizzas or burgers, are a much better choice for your health versus giving it up altogether. So the effort and the priority counts a lot to that. So the next time when you're out there, think twice before tapping your credit card. Actually, maybe what would be the better choice for your health. So in terms of the tip, we know that organic food might be expensive and we don't challenge that fact. But actually, what you can do to deal with this? First tip, properly wash your food in soda, in baking soda or salt. Buy lean cuts of meat if you don't have actually ability to buy organic meat because chemicals and toxins are stored in the fat. Try to choose the local market instead of the huge malls and, and grocery stores and actually ask the people how the food was sourced and, and find places where the same person who sells you the products actually feed the animals. Just ask, people are very open. Yep. Also, as a fourth tip, probably you came across this before, um, Dirty Dozen and Healthy 15, we will link below. And this is a simple concept that a lot of researchers were developed about this, that certain food, fruits and vegetables contain um, a huge amount the residue of uh, chemicals and pesticides. Um, if you, of course, don't have ability to um, buy organic food, you can just simply use our 15 uh, clean list of fruits and vegetables. And, and a great example is avocado. No time for gym or no time for cooking. Hey, we understand that. Stressful day at work, well, the family is coming over, you've got a flight to catch. All of these things bite into your time and then maybe sometimes you don't have that actual time to dedicate to cook and be active etc. It certainly happens to us as well. This one's quite simple really. I mean just like we always say, start introducing the habit of what you want to do in very natural baby small steps. If you don't have the time because you have a very stressful day, 
try getting up from your desk every hour or walk, walk to work 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be hour and a half gym sessions. Just, just become conscious that you want to introduce movement to your day. As Lucky just said, start from something very small. That small that you will even think it's silly. I mean it. For example, 10 push-ups. 10 push-ups, even one push-up a day. Yeah. But you will have to commit yourself and it has to be something that small that you will be able to deliver and do it every day. A glass of water every morning or some squats or some breathing exercises for five minutes or even one minute, but try to commit it and do it every day. On the other hand, we cannot expect to have more time for new activities and new duties if we keep prioritizing the same entertainments or the same activities. You can skip Netflix binge watching or the next fourth drink invite in the week and instead of go to the gym, try to prepare your food and do something for yourself. It's simply about mindset shift and becoming and developing habits every day which will help you and improve yourself then. So what are these basic baby steps that we can introduce to get over this excuse? You could start to add a sense of commitment. So plan your week, if it's a long walk on the beach, if you have access to the beach, or if you wanna do Pilates or yoga, add that to the calendar and have a sense of commitment to it. Prepare a list of meals that you actually like. Then list out the ingredients, go and shop for them. But don't forget, there might be instances that you come across and crave for those junk foods. So replace them with healthy snacks. Start from prepping a meal at home probably breakfast, which is which you have easy access to a stove, and then you could do that before you go to work. When you want to really make a step forward, and if you're already doing breakfast at home, buy a bunch of boxes and start packing your food so that you take to work. But wait, don't ever microwave it. It's one of my personal favorite, or even ours is a personal it favorite. Um, we always have an excuse that we need a comfort food or we need a cheat meal because something happened, something happened, whatever. This thought of cheating in your healthy lifestyle is built on the foundation that healthy lifestyle actually is a burden or a chore, it's something that you have to do. With time you will understand that it's nothing like that at all. Eating healthy is a lifestyle or I would rather say a certain values and once those values are deeply rooted in your behavior and actually become the part who you are, the appeal to cheating that lifestyle simply disappear. Well, come on, it's human nature, isn't it? We always want to do things that we're told not to do. It's kind of the addictive nature around it. Well, the effect gets compounded because of all the chemicals and the additives and the sugar in the junk food that you've chased all week to have that cheat meal for. So what if we take a step back and actually treat the relationship you have with food just like a healthy marriage? and introduce healthy and authentic food rather than the, the fast food burgers or the thousand calorie milkshakes. So guys, let's jump into the tips. So to actually make that leap into a healthy lifestyle free from hunger, free from struggle and actually with no need for a cheat meal, we strongly advise you to start reading labels. We cannot stress this enough how important it is. Once you read these labels, the question is whether you still find it delicious. And the second tip, is to equip your pantry with all healthy snacks like dates, dried fruits, organic chocolate, nuts and, and other bars or vegetables, organic crispy chips. I don't like vegetables or I would rather say here I don't like vegetables, seriously, you know what I'm talking about. Vegetables are the greatest source of vitamins, minerals and fiber, being at the same time low in calories. Is it a dream? Okay, like kale and celery doesn't have to be your fast, but seriously, all of them, they are too rich to be omitted. So put an effort to introduce them to your daily diet in the way you like the most. You can pan fry them, you can bake them, you can blend them. There's so many ways you can cook them and actually front load your meals with vegetables. Drinking is a social norm. We've evolved over gathering. Previously, our ancestors gathered around hunted food. But now we gather around beer halls, whether it may be meeting up with friends or finding a fling or just supposedly having a good time. Because of this social norm, it naturally brings a peer and a personal level of pressure for your social interaction to happen at these places. So for us, this is a definition of how you define your self-discipline. 
We like drinking draft beers, whiskeys, and good red wine if there is occasion for it, so maybe a few times a month. We ran through an era where the medical enhancement extended our life expectancy. And now we are reversing it as a result of our lifestyle choices. So to get over this one, the simplest one is just, just be confident and empower yourself to say no. And hey, sometimes it's difficult. I know that, maybe, uh, maybe you know that too. So if that's the case, ask your friend or colleague to help you out. Say that, you know what, I'm, I'm trying to cut down on my alcohol intake. Um, as soon as people feel like they're helping you, they're more inclined to actually help you with it. Or if that's not an option, third way of doing it is just come up with a white lie. Um, it's not gonna affect them badly, it's only gonna benefit you. I mean, we're not very big advocates of it, but hey, sometimes there's a job. It's low fat, it's low sugar, it's vegan, it's vegetarian. Food occurs naturally with a composition of carbs, proteins, and fats. And that's because we biologically are made to consume it in that proportionality or composition as well. A low fat diet will affect your hormones and your mitochondrial health. To be very honest, all of your cells are made, are made with a fat-based membrane. Your vitamins are absorbed in the presence of fats. And on the other side, you need carbs. Your brain functions, its fuel is glucose. There's debating facts about ketones and etc. We'll get into it on a different video, but the, the body craves a source of energy, whether it may be fat or, or glucose or carbs or whatever it may be. And I think the worst part of this is that Introducing or, or changing this composition involves a addition of a chemical to retain the flavor of the macronutrient that you've reduced, whether it's carbs or fats. And that's the part that's, that's the most harmful to your health. So jumping to the quick tips, try to avoid these foods which are marketed, labeled as a low fat or low sugar or sugar free. Maybe on the front it looks cool, but when you try digging a bit deeper, it might be stinky. Second tip, this is just the beginning. So if you're a huge fan of diet sugar zero coke, uh, okay, don't deprive yourself immediately from it. So if you actually drink that, sugar-free coke seven times per week. Just reduce it, bring it down to six. And actually, this is our favorite one. Last but not least. Yeah. I can't be bothered. I live only once. YOLO! We are huge, yeah, we are huge advocate of this. So if you actually live only once, live it well. Yeah, hey, the human body is a very resilient place. Um, that's why we consistently, or that's why our vessels of the human body is able to withstand most of the abuse that we give it. There are people who survive having a pack of cigarette every day or uh, drinking six bottles of, I don't know, a, a wine every week. Um, however, these people would come around and say, hey, you know what, I feel good. That's purely because the human body is resilient and we will stick around to be resilient. But it's about if you actually want to make that step further, it's about reducing that abuse. So what we try and practice is about an 80-20 split. So 80% of the time, we try and stick with the sustainable, organic, uh, informed food choices, uh, introduce activity, uh, and then actually uh, improve our mind health. But 20% of the time, the life we live doesn't allow us to do that. So sometimes it's okay to not be uh, that informed or not be that conscious. But the whole point is just reduce the amount of abuse that you give to your body and manage that abuse. And sometimes that 20% may be just purely environmental mm -hmm. yeah. and completely out of your control. Okay guys, we are wrapping up this video and what we actually want you to take away from this video is the power of acknowledging the excuses. This is just the beginning of the journey and it's huge to acknowledge and properly manage the excuse. Yeah, just be conscious that you're actually yeah. making an excuse. That's literally the first step. Okay guys, so thank you so much for being with us. Comment below what was your excuse and what you spotted and what you will take away from this video. On the next video, we are covering what you actually should stop doing as a first step to a healthy lifestyle. Again, thank you so much guys for sticking around with us and we hope this video helped you take another 
small step towards a healthy lifestyle. Leave a comment below if there's anything that you want us to cover or just simply say hi. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That's gonna really help this channel take off and build this community. And last but not least, if, if you like the content and if you think that some of your friends or family are gonna benefit from this, share this on social media. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.